Welcome to the Zions Bank Economic Update. I'm Deb Speed and joining me is Robert Spenlove to discuss the significant changes in the price of oil over the past year and a half. Robert, can you help us understand these changes that have been happening? Sure. It's been a really interesting couple months for oil, especially the last, the last 18 months. So beginning right around mid to late uh, 2014, oil prices were around $110 a barrel. But in the fall of 2014, they began to drop, and they dropped to around $50 to $60 a barrel in 2015. Then again in late 2015, they dropped again down to around $26 a barrel just a few weeks ago. In the last few weeks, oil prices have increased to around 40, the low $40 a barrel range, but they're much lower than they were just, a, just a 18 months ago. Right, so what are the dynamics behind all of these changes? There's some very interesting dynamics and very, some very interesting phases going on with, the, with over the last few months. I would really divide it into two phases. The first phase of oil price drops were driven by supply, and then the next phase was driven by demand. So the supply was driven by uh, essentially Saudi Arabia flooding the market with very cheap oil. When oil prices uh, passed $100 a barrel, Saudi Arabia wanted to try to f force out new and emerging technologies. So beginning right around November of 2014, they began to flood the market and increase their production. So this oversupplied the global market and pushed prices down to that $50 to $60 a barrel range. Then kind of held steady there for a few months. And then in the uh, late summer of 2015, we saw big changes in Chinese supply. And what that is a result of is uh, slowing Chinese markets, sl the slowing Chinese economy. And because of those slows, they're demanding less oil. And so that once again pushed prices even further down, bottoming at the $26 a, uh, a barrel level. Now, once we hit that very low level of, of around $26 a barrel, we've seen at the same time production in the U.S. dropping dramatically. And you can measure that by oil rig counts. So uh, oil rigs during the same period have dropped from around 1,900 oil rigs to around 440 currently. That's a 76% drop in oil rigs. So once we dropped to that very low level, it started to, pr to provide support for oil at $26 a barrel. And it's recovered a little bit and has come up to around that $40 a barrel range now. So with all the supply and demand and the up and the down, what do you see for the future? So if, let's talk first about the supply side. The big story there is Saudi Arabia versus Iran. Saudi Arabia and Iran are very competitive and they've been very competitive within the oil markets. And so Iran, ever since sanctions were taken off, has been trying to return to their pre-sanction levels of just around 2 million barrels of oil per day. And they, they've said that they'd like to get to about 4 million barrels a day of production. Now Saudi Arabia wants to prevent them from getting the, to those levels because those will eat away at the Saudi Arabian market. So there's a very competitive nature going on. Just recently OPEC met. The o OPEC is the oil producing nations that are part of a, a cartel with the goal of trying to cut production. When they came out of that meeting, they were not able to agree to any production cuts, which means that we're gonna to continue to see a very high level of production going on in oil markets. However, demand, if the Chinese market, if the Chinese economy and the Chinese market continue to uh, bottom out and to recover, we could see higher demand from China. In, at the US level, we, we demand about 9 million barrels of oil per day. And the forecast is that our demand will increase to around 9.3 million barrels. So we could see some adjustment in demand. That, that could have real big impacts on the longer term. Uh, but what we know is that this is definitely having impacts on countries. Venezuela and Russia are really being hurt. And also US states, Wyoming, North Dakota, and Alaska are being impacted by this pretty significantly. Well, that's such an interesting story with all the global impacts and all the players involved. So thanks for helping us understand. Sure. Thank you for joining us for this economic update. For more information and analysis, please visit zionsbank.com economy.